Hey guys, it's Pam Saxman. Welcome to week three, day three of execution in the new Agent Jumpstart program. All right, guys, so now we're up to hump day in week three. So today is going to be all about building those healthy habits. So our team every single day has a goal to talk to 10 to 15 people about real estate. That's 10 to 15 conversations, because if you're not talking to someone every single day about real estate, you're not building a real fruitful pipeline. So think about it in that way. I don't really care how you do it, right? If it's your sphere, if it's knocking on doors, if it is calling just listed, just sold, whatever, just knowing that you need to have 10 to 15 conversations about real estate daily. So if you haven't gotten through all of your sphere, maybe this is an area that you can really focus on to get those conversations up. And remember, when you call people, let them know that you're calling about a business reason. So the script can go something like this. Hey, Andrea, so, you know, I, I love talking to you. You're one of my best friends, but I'm calling you for a little bit of a different reason today. I'm calling to have a little bit of a business conversation. So, as you know, I just made my announcement. I'm moving over to EXP Realty to, um, to start my new career in real estate, and I'm just anxious to get started. I've also set a goal for myself is by the end of the year, I want to help six people either buy or sell real estate. And I was just curious. I mean, have you heard of anybody at, at work or around the way that may have talked about um, buying or selling real estate? And then pause and let them think about it. It will surprise you if you ask for it, how many people do know someone that has at least casually thought about it. So then that's the connection of, well, that's awesome. You know, I'm so glad. Thank you for thinking of that for me. Uh, would you mind um, if you put us in like a little group chat, a group text? Um, that way they know that um, I'm legit because I'm coming from you. And it'd give me the opportunity to connect with them and see if I can help them in some way. And makes it super easy. Doesn't make it awkward for your friend. And guess what? You may get some leads from saying something like that. All right, so that's one thing, just some 10 conversations about real estate. I also want to start building some healthy habits of you not only talking to the people that you know, but putting yourself out there to talk about the people, talk to the people that you don't know. So here's an easy one. You don't need a dialer. You don't need anything. You do need Zillow. So I want you to go on Zillow, do a search on for sale by owners in your area. There'll be a lot that will pop up. There's also for sale by owner.com. That's another place that you can go. So these folks have to publicly put their numbers out there, right? Because <laughs> they're trying to sell their house on their own. So you'll commonly know their name and you'll have their telephone number. Reach out to them. See how you can help. Come from a place of contribution. Use our scripts too. They give you some great ways to talk to people and some questions that you can ask that really makes it feel more like a conversation and not you just begging to list the home. So commonly, we just engage people. How's it going? You know, how's the market treating you? Sometimes they'll say it's going great and you may feel weird about pushing. That's great. I'm, I'm excited for you that you've had a lot of activity. Um, you know, but let me ask you a couple more questions. I mean, have you gotten an offer on that property yet? Okay, no. All right. Well, activity is great, but we want to make sure we get activity that gets you more offers, right? So that's where me as a real estate agent can put some gasoline, really put this listing out there. So not only are we just getting agents calling or rent to own people calling, we're actually getting awesome, qualified, ready to go, hot and ready buyers to your property because that's probably what you want. Anyway, it's all about asking how you can help seeing where they are and seeing if there's any gaps, any needs that you may be able to help them with. These can tend to be nurturers, but they do answer the phone and they do like to talk. So I want you to talk to, not just call, I want you to talk to five for sale by owners today. Let's rip that bandaid off. Okay. Here's the final piece. Probably towards the end of the day, you'll realize it takes 
hours to actually have 10 to 15 conversations about real estate. It will take a little bit of time to get five for sell by owners on the phone for you to have a conversation. I want you to go back now and I want you to look at your ideal work schedule and make some adjustments as needed. You may realize that maybe you only had an hour or two hours of lead gen blocked off in your day. And hopefully this habit will let you know that when you're first getting started out, two, three, four hours, it's your most, it's your biggest priority. So you need to, you need to make some adjustments on your schedule and so that it reflects that too. Okay. So go back, review and make some adjustments as needed. All right, guys, I'm slowly getting you out of the comfort zone. So I'd love to hear some feedback and how it's going with your conversations. Reach out to me anytime and good luck. This is a good one. Thanks.